Uh, the FBI director, uh, Deputy Assistant Director Peter Strzok, and his then lover, Lisa Page, how they conspired, took part in these efforts against uh, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. They allegedly pushed to keep the FBI's investigation into Flynn open despite the Bureau's plans to close it. Now, are they going to face any retaliation uh, to weigh in? We welcome former senior naval intelligence officer for the FBI's National Joint Terrorism Task Force and Trump 2020 Advisory Board member, Stephen Rogers. Stephen, um, what are your thoughts on this? How this, uh, how this unfolds from here? Well, a few thoughts on this. I spent 38 years of my life in law enforcement, and I can tell you right now, and by the way, I did work at FBI headquarters, that President Donald Trump has saved this nation from a terrible, terrible future regarding the corruption that was at FBI headquarters. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you have used the word transparency. You're absolutely right. Uh, law enforcement must be very transparent with the public. Uh, under the Obama-Biden administration, uh, with James Comey as director of the FBI, that was not done. I've got to tell you, based on the emails and messages I'm getting, uh, from people that they've lost a lot of confidence in law enforcement, not only with the FBI, but there's been a ripple effect. And may I add a chilling effect in ranks in law enforcement all across this country. So where we go from here, I think the president is now taking the steps to restore that confidence by letting the public know that he has everything under control, especially with Attorney General Barr now at the helm. That's the way it's going to be done. Transparency. Let's get the truth out. And I've got some advice for the Democrats. And, and, and look, I'm not uh, trying to make this political, but unfortunately, it, it gets to that. They need to own up to the problems that they helped create for this country. Mr. And it's Rogers, not going to go away. what would be important in building a case against Page and Sturzak? Well, what's important is exactly what were in, was in those memos. Uh, there was a lot of evidence that revealed that they weren't looking. Well, let's put it this way. There was no evidence. Absolutely no evidence against Michael Flynn. Uh, it seems to me, based on my experience in investigating cases, you need probable cause, you need evidence. And you know where the evidence is now pointed to? The fact that come, come hell or high water, they were going to get Michael Flynn because the ultimate goal was to get President Trump. Now, were they, they trying to get, were they trying to use Flynn, in your opinion, to try to go beyond that and try to establish some sort of conspiracy in the, the Russian interference with the election and the Trump administration? In, in other words, force him to do that, to plead guilty that, to that, and then make him cough up information on the rest of the efforts that they thought were going on. Well, you're absolutely right. Look, when we as law enforcement officers investigate mob figures, you want to get the kingpin. So you go to the underlings, okay? In this case, the FBI believed that uh, Michael Flynn was uh, an underling, all right? He was vulnerable. So you're right. They were looking for the president of the United States at that time he was a candidate. So they used the guy's kid as leverage. Uh, and this is not uncommon when they use the loved one as leverage, but with no evidence Absolutely none at all. They led Flynn to believe that they had enough evidence to even put his kid in jail. That is unethical. It is illegal. It is wrong. And I'm glad they got caught. All right. Steve Rogers, thank you, sir. And thank you for your service. We're going to talk more about Michael Flynn after this.